Greetings, the living church of God. Greetings, the family of God. Our topic for today is entitled Sola Scriptula, which is transformed from a Latin word, uh, which means the Bible alone. I shall read the text from Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Why Sola Scriptula? Sola Scriptula, it means the Bible alone. Why the Bible alone? The Bible alone because it is the word of God. The Bible is not an end on itself, but it is a means to an end of knowing God and to do his will. In its primary sense, the Bible is not only the word of God, but it is God himself. This is proved by John chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 3 where we see Jesus incarnating through the Bible and living as flesh amongst the human beings. So the Bible is not just a general book, but it is God himself speaking. It is an inspired book. It is a book that includes the Trinity. So the Bible is not just a general book. The Bible, it does not inform, it does not only inform like any other books, but it transforms. That's why David says, I have heard thy word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Some have used the Bible as a source or as a means for, the, for theological debates and religious debates, but the Bible, it is more than that one. That's why Paul says, study to show thy, thyself approved unto God. We can only be approved unto God by studying the Bible. Our characters, our bad moods can be turned into good. We can be righteous through the studying of the word of God. Because the word of God, it is none other than, than God himself. That which is uttered in the Bible is created when we read and study it with a heart seeking to understand, with a heart seeking to repent. The Bible, it can make a difference in our life. The Bible, it does not inform us, but it transforms us as Christians. The Bible it cannot be equated to any other books that we read as Christians because the Bible was inspired. Sola Scriptura, the Bible alone. We might make other people our, our mentors. We might copy from other people. We might try to copy from social media. We might try to copy from, from our families on how to, read, to live a standard life. But the Bible alone can show us what is good. The Bible alone can help us to live in this end of days. The Bible alone can help us in our troubles. The Bible alone can solve each and every problems that we face in our lives. Why the Bible alone? Sola Scriptura. The, through studying the Bible, we'll be blessed as, as Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 denotes. The Bible, it reveals about God's plans. The Bible, it also changes a person. The Bible is for reproof. The Bible is like a two-edged sword, which enters through a heart, which can turn a person to be a good person, which can give us hope as Christians. So as Christians, what, what am I saying to us? We need to study the Bible. Don't neglect your Bible. Study it and live according to it so that we might be saved, so that we might see Jesus. In it, there is Jesus Christ. Because in it, we see Jesus Christ who came to save us from the original sin, who came to save us from the devil. Even Jesus himself, he resisted the devil through the use of the Bible. So sola scriptura must be used. Why? The Bible alone, the Bible alone must help us in difficult times. The Bible alone must, we must read it even if we are happy. The Bible alone, we must consider it even if you are in the war with the devil, the Bible alone. So as Christians, let's go and study the Bible. Let's take it seriously. Let's pray and study the Bible with an earnest heart, with a Bible, with a heart willing to change. With these words, I say, I say stay blessed. Let's read and study our Bibles. Sola Scriptura. Amen.